my grandfather was a social worker who started the first Boys and Girls Club for colored people in the country. And then he was the first colored member of the uh, national board for the boys clubs, which eventually evolved the Boys and Girls Club. And so there's this long, rich history in my family of public service. My grandmother was a teacher. My mother w graduated from SED in 1944, and she taught kindergarten. And my father's always been involved, and in, he's a lawyer, but he's always been involved in issues related to education. So he was a junior lawyer on the Brown case, and he's done a lot of the um, um, school desegregation law at the Supreme Court level. He's been active in that for, for 40, 50 years. So I, I came into a family that was, one, committed to public service, but also specifically around the area of youth and then education. And I was also a jocko, so I love sports. And so when I was getting out of college and thinking about uh, what are the things I love to do between I love, I, I love learning and I love sports and what could be a career that you could combine the two. So my first job was a phys ed teacher, um, and that's where I started, a phys ed in one school, and I was teaching religion and English in another school, and kind of build on that and got very involved in, again, youth uh, issues. So I was doing a lot of counseling of kids uh, who were having, you know, the various problems that you see in young adolescents, you know, some drug family issues. And I was finding myself talking with them a lot and uh, but realized I wasn't really uh, well-skilled at that work. So I went to get my master's in counseling at University of Vermont and came back and started my career as a school counselor, uh, combining teaching, coaching, and doing the school counseling 